made a video for a while now. Last day in Mauritius today. Not as much bike riding as we'd initially planned, but we ended up having a holiday. Went scuba diving. I was so scared before and then actually when we did it, it was like the most insane experience, wasn't it? Kenny from Indigo Diving. We'll come back and find him one day. Oh, he's so fucking cool. We are now just jumping in a taxi, hour and a bit drive across the island, 12 hour flight, long. It's a bracelet, it's a souvenir. And then once uh, it will uh, break, so it get lost, you have to come here immediately. <laughs> It's raining on our last day here. It nice softens the blow a little bit. Although it is minus two at home. There. They are riding their suitcases. They're literally riding their suitcases. They're coming back. Huh? I'm tired already and the flight's 12 hours. I already have jet lag. We've had jet lag for two weeks. <laughs> we haven't stayed up past 10 o'clock for two weeks. They're like babies. Pathetic. Like the babies at the hotel were staying up later than us. They were, they were dancing till like 12 o'clock. How many hours a night? 10 hours every night. Just us. It's minus one, and I'm wearing shorts. Just picked up my bike. Uh, yeah, cheers, BA. Not just that, though. Just off the bike. So, the bike's got a little bit damaged. What did they do to it? The Oakleys are okay. <laughs> Phew! So the whole bike properly packed with extra padding on top of the padded bag and the bubble wrap around the rear mech, which they managed to snap off from that end. Then you've got the damage to the shifter on this end. That's completely knackered. And then on the other side of the bag, you've got a massive hole where the saddle was sticking out. And that was wrapped up in the bubble wrap to start with as well. So how do they, how do they do that? I've only ridden this bike three times. <laughs> They've broken both our bikes. Right, uh, so I just pulled my front wheel out of the side of my Shikon bike bag. Another one bites the dust. You've done a good in here. You're very red, you're burnt. I came to say hello and I came to uh, kiss your bike back because maybe, it, maybe it'll get better if I kiss it. I don't think a kiss is going to fix it, man. <laughs> easy jet, man. It's not even easy jet, it's British Airways. I know. Unbelievable. How are you? Good, yeah. I feel like you in Vietnam where everything broke. Everything broke in Vietnam, now it's your turn. Everything broke. <laughs> Mate, look at it. Fuck. Unbelievable. But that was on the other side to where the damage was in the other, just on the frame. just got the frame and just like bounced on it. I don't know. Brand new bike. I bet Drew fucking loves you. You've absolutely destroyed every pair of wheels you've ever had. I've got something even better. Go on. You know, just uh, the icing on the cake. Because every bike is broken, so I've thought I'd get the Australia bike out. What the f What? That's not supposed to happen. The free hub goes both ways. Yeah, you're missing a bit in the in the in the cassette. Nice of Loza to pop around, see how miserable I am today. Now I've ended up spending most of today on the phone trying to figure out how to recover the costs of all the damaged stuff. But that's a problem that's fairly easily solved. I've got a few spare bits. I've got friends that can help out if I really need parts or anything like that. What really gets to me is the negligence of the baggage handlers that are doing it. Some people are saying, yeah, it's the airline's fault because they employ them. But I guess my main issue is how can somebody think like that and treat someone else's stuff with such negligence. The damage to the bags and the equipment is weird. The mech snapped off Daisy's bike and then you've got at the other end the shifter bent and completely twisted and it's, it's broken, it's not just bent. A few small scratches on the frame but luckily the frame is okay. Then on my bike you've got another destroyed carbon wheel which is on one side of the bag and then the opposite chain stay on the other side of the bag is cracked. And on top of that, you've got the seat post that was sticking out of a hole, which is in the Evoque bag, and that's a thick bag. I'll be honest, I'm not entirely convinced it was an accident. It just seems a bit unusual and 
hasn't fully sunk in yet. Now when I got back a few hours ago, I did do a tweet about this and it's clear that a lot of people have this problem when they go flying with their bikes. Why is this still an issue? I mean, the baggage handlers are being paid to look after your luggage and just move it safely from one place to another. Why is that so hard? Anyway, I could bang on about this forever. I had planned a very different type of video today. Me and Daisy were gonna go for a bike ride. Unfortunately, we can't do that because we haven't got working bikes. Thanks, baggage handlers. Now I'm back in the UK, I'm heading to the studio tomorrow. We're gonna film a whole new bunch of Bike Fit Tuesdays videos and we'll be releasing those over the next few weeks. I'm then heading over to the Villa factory to reveal something pretty cool. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you guys have ever experienced a problem like this before and have ways of sort of speeding up the claims process or whatever, put it in the comments down below and I'll see you guys tomorrow. It's so sad. Sorry, Drew.